Hi, my name's Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing the Metroid Prime Randomizer and recording it all on VHS. Uh, last time we basically found, like, everything we need, supposedly. Uh, maybe, kind of, not really. Uh, there's actually a lot left that we still need to find. Um, and by a lot left, I mean, like, a suit, uh, and a, a charge beam would be great. Oh, please give me a charge beam. And, uh, right, we found where super missiles were, uh, but we can't get there yet because we don't have spider ball. So, that's most of, most of it, really. Rip. But, wait, well, hey, like, ultimately, we're in a really good spot. Uh, we are... Very low chance of soft locking anymore. Um, we have most of our movement tech. Uh, we just need that spider ball for the rest of the movement tech. Um, and if we're going to need super missiles, then... Well, that's just unfortunate because we're going to need to find charge beam first. And um, right now the game is really cracked wide open. So we are... Um, we're basically just going through like the execution of a bunch of stuff right now. Uh, and, and doing the things... And hoping that we find something nice. Why can't I lock on to you? There we So I believe the plan I laid out last time. Yeah, you know, you'd think I'd be able to remember things that I said very recently. Um, jokes on you, my memory is terrible. Anyway, let me complete that thought. Um, so, yeah, plan is we're going to go through the uh, lab here, um, which we'll be able to go out the back door and get to the back half of Fendron Drifts, so we can do the lab, we can do the uh, back of Fendrana, um, and we can wrap up the back of Fendrana. We'll never have to come back there. Um, we might have to come back here, however. All depending on what's inside this too. It's a missile. So, good news. We don't have to come back to this lab. Uh, we do... Door. Door, come on. So yeah, we'll be able to take out and take care of pretty much everything in. Uh, we can take out most of Fendra. Like the there's. Unfortunately, we'll probably have to come back because that's where the super missile uh, combo thingamajig, the super missile upgrade. That's the words I'm looking for. Why? Why are words hard? Like really, why are words hard? <laughs> Is it normal to struggle this much just to remember, like, certain words? Or is it just... is that just a me thing? Anyway, um... So, yeah, we're, we're going to... We'll have to come back when we get Spider-Ball. In order to... What am I doing? Screw it. Just gonna scan the thing. And then we're gonna do the puzzle. We're gonna get through here. Um... Yep. 
So, yeah, if... If we end up needing Super Missile, we're going to have to come back to Vindrana. Otherwise, uh, it's outside of, like, that check. And maybe Thardis. I'm still... <laughs> I don't want to fight Thardis without Charge Beam. It sucks so much. Um, so yeah, we might leave Thardis uh, just kicking around because almost <sighs> every seed I've ever done, Thardis has not been important. It's always like, oh, here's a missile up, or just just a missile, and that's it. Um, I don't even think I've gotten like a, uh, an energy tank from him. Um, ever. But just because it hasn't happened doesn't mean it's not going to happen someday. That it's going to be like, oh, well, you've got Thermal Visor and, you know, uh, that that's good enough to fight Thardis. So uh, we're going to put some critically important item behind this boss. Um, oh, Thardis fight is... No matter what, the Thardis fight is just kind of a slog. But without charge beam it's so much worse it is so slow <laughs> it, is, it is a ton of tapping the buttons and just like uh it's just it's real bad it is real bad trust me it's real bad i'm probably not going to do it unless i have to at which point well then i guess i can show you but hopefully it won't come to that anyway That'll be like two checks that we're leaving in uh, Vindrana. Um, well, technically three checks. One of them is uh, a super missile that require, or scratch that, a missile check that requires super missile. There we go, correct order of words. Uh, yeah, let's, we're doing a random, we're gonna save often. <laughs> Remember when, uh, this is, like, completely left-field thought, kind of. Um, in Metal Gear, when, uh, when Psycho Mantis does, does his, their, own, their whole thing, and, like, I got called out on being very reckless and not saving very often, like, That did change my saving habits after that point. Like, <laughs> um, it very much turned into, you know what? I should save more often. Like, that that little interaction um, has drastically increased the, uh, probably the quality of my, my saving in games. As it turns out, Metal Gear is pretty neat. And, yeah. Psycho Mantis calling me out on not saving very often. Um, I guess thanks, thanks Kojima et al. Uh, for, <laughs> for that neat trick that you pulled, and also, like, for all of the saves that I have done since <laughs> that are of direct consequence. Just, thanks. Can't see my radar. Again, I do feel like the lighting's really blown out, but like the darks are way darker and the brights are way brighter because I've had to turn the brightness up so I can see anything when we go through like you know uh, any anything that's mildly in shadow. Again, I do find that particular cutscene pretty, uh... It's a lot. Like... <laughs> that one in particular, it's just like, it, it shows you the tower falling. It shows you, here's the hole in the floor. And then it does, like, the, uh, the, uh, I don't remember the term of the shadow boxing silhouette stuff, uh... 
Uh, nope, don't remember that word at all. Don't know it. Um, but anyway, they, you know, that's not the button I want. Do, do, do. There we go. Um, I've seen that term in photo apps, and I just, I don't know it. I don't remember it. Anyway, they do that thing, what makes the edges of the screen all dark. Um, I don't remember. Are you gonna... Nope. I do have to scan a Metroid. Then, what is this one? This is ether. Okay. You know what? It's just a missile. <laughs> I'm going to leave it because. Boy, howdy, uh, that... That rail is just really thin. <laughs> it's really just a... That one is not bad to get, but it's kind of bad to get. <laughs> um, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It, it really is just like... It's, it's not difficult, it's just like of mild obnoxiousness. That is a strange way to phrase things, but I'll stick with it. Alright, it's just missiles at the bottom. Who cares? I need to probably stop passing up all these missiles. Nice little god rays up there, not that you can see them for much of anything. Can you see them from over here? A little bit. Look at those god rays. Let's just appreciate those for half a moment. Alright. <laughs> we are, in fact, going through here backwards currently, and that might actually cause a problem. Well, that's a suit. That looks like it might be Phazon. Yes. All right. Great news. Uh, It's 
so when I was listing things off earlier of stuff that we're going to need, um, I forgot to mention the Phazon suit. Uh, and yeah, we're definitely going to need that. So now Phazon's not a problem, so that's great. Also, because I have the, um, the progressive suit defense turned on, um, that... And that means we just got ourselves, I think, another 20% damage reduction. Oh, I don't know if we can go through all of this way backwards. Let's find out. Don't mind me just switching visors because, again, I don't I don't know why the darks are so dark and the brights are so bright. I don't know why there's like this completely blown out color palette, at least on my end. Um, oh, interesting. Our. Uh, Phase on suit is yellow? Sure is. Okay. Phazon suit is yellow. Um, that's because uh, fusion. So Metroid Fusion, in case you haven't played it, um, is basically the reason Samus's suit looks so different. Is she got infected with uh, a parasite thing um, that they? Let me see if I can get my lore right because it's been years since I played it last. Um, Basically, her, suits get, her suit gets infected, and that's kind of like the big crux of the story. Um, and, like, the Alliance scientists, uh, in order to save her, um, basically, uh, I think it's it's like she goes back to XR-368, or whatever that planet is, that is like the, where it was either like the home planet of the Metroids, or something. Um... And basically, there's this uh, there's this parasite that was like their main predator was the uh, was the Metroids. So without Metroids, there, hey, it's our it's our Varia suit. Excellent. So we now have full protection. Great. Um, okay. Uh, so yeah, it's like. Ends up going back here, back there for whatever reason, uh, and then gets infected with these parasites that used to be, like, you know, main... <laughs> their population was controlled by the Metroids, uh, so without that predator there, the natural balance is off. Um, so... Gets infected. The Alliance, in order to save her, like, infuse her suit with, uh, Metroid DNA or something? Um, which drastically changes her suit and also uh gives you a weakness to ice uh and and cold um which honestly that's all pretty neat 
This is all like in the first five minutes of the game, by the way. So um, I don't think it qualifies. Excuse me, uh, it qualifies for spoiler territory. But basically the, the fusion suit is like all blue. Um, so like having your suit return to the yellow Varia suit colors um, is kind of like the, the power journey of that game. Fusion's real good. Uh, if you have not played Fusion uh, and you have a way to play it, I would re definitely recommend that one. Um, it kind of threw me for a loop. Like, again, Metroid Prime was my first Metroid. Uh, baby's first Metroid. Um, <laughs> so, like, not having the, like, the history of 2D Metroids and whatnot. Um, it was really jarring <laughs> going from like, oh, hey, here's, you know, here's this like really super solid 3D game going back to like the 2D roots. Um, it was, it was in fact very much jarring and very much confusing for poor little uh, teenage Bryce. Um, So I was like, I didn't fully get it uh, when I first played it, but like, it's one of those things that just like, I remember this being okay. And it's like, um, again, teenage me just had really bad opinions. So as it turns out, no, like, the game's real good. It's a really solid Metroid. I probably should have checked to see what item I was getting uh, before <laughs> committing to all of that. Um, but you know what? It's worked out in the end. And also, I can't see anything. Hello, fish. Alright. I do like that they have like, these little way markers. Oh, dang it. Um, they have like these little way markers that uh, show up on thermal. Um, just these little glow stick things. It's a nice touch. Um, like both thematically and, you know, gameplay wise. You know what? Sure, let's save. Okay, I need to make the choice of uh, whether or not I'm going to deal with Thardis. Um, <laughs> what you can't see is I just, you know, did a big side eye towards my uh, episode timer <laughs> and just like, hmm, how much of the episode am I willing to commit to this problem? Um... So, I think next week is, like, E3 stuff. Of course, I am hoping for just, like... I don't know, like... In terms of gaming news, it's like, I'm... I'm, of course, excited for Metroid Prime 4, because... Boy, howdy, I do love me some Metroid Prime. Um, and, you know, uh, to, to, to the words. Okay, let's just do a quick double check. I want to go up to the top. Um, it's like things I'm really hoping to hear about are just like, I, of course, am excited for Metroid Prime. Um, I am, of course, interested in... Uh, not Eternal Ring, Elden Ring. Um, Eternal Ring is also a From Software game. Um, it's, it's unique. Uh, it's like, it feels like Kingsfield, um, but they have like this whole like ring crafting system. Oh, hey, uh, this is transport access. Okay. 
good to know. Um, all right, I don't want to fight Thardis, but I do want to check out the room behind him. Anyway, of course I'm excited for Metroid Prime. Of course I'm excited for, uh, you know, FromSoft. Um, like, I've been a FromSoft fan for a long time. <laughs> so, of course I want to hear about what they're working on. Um, aside from that, like, I don't really know what I'm looking forward to personally. Like, those are those are kind of the big two, two items. I guess uh, Final Fantasy XVI... Um, because as it turns out, Final Fantasy XIV uh, is real good, um, and man. let's just make sure I land this. Because um, uh, I guess I should mention this: um, if I don't have Spider Ball, this is not a dead end. Because I have Grapple and Double Jump. If I didn't have, uh, basically, if I didn't have a combination of scratch that. It's either or. Either you need Spider Ball to get out of here so you can go back up uh, that direction or, you know, around. Um, or you need Grapple Beam and you can reach these grapples with, I believe you do need Space Jump uh, in order to reach them. Um, but you can reach them from the ground. Otherwise, uh, this is a big old soft lock pit. Um, <laughs> and I really don't want to fight Thardis, so we'll just... We'll just leave that there and be haunted by it, uh, and then come back, you know, hours later and realize he had the charge beam the entire time. Um, yeah, like those are those are kind of like my the three things I'm looking forward to, um, and I don't know how much news I actually care to hear about them, like. When I get excited for stuff, um, I tend to go radio silence on it because, as I have mentioned many times uh, throughout this whole YouTube, <laughs> um, I am one of the things that I really derive joy from in games is discovery. Um, so it's like where other people uh, might get excited about a game and start seeking out all of the information about it like i will generally put everything on complete radio silence um much to my dismay with dark souls that meant i meant missed like pre-order times and didn't get the uh the soundtrack cd that it was you know that, that came with and uh that's that's a bummer because <laughs> you can't really just like undo that <laughs> um All right, uh, before we solve the puzzle, let's see what we're even in for. Um, okay. Another bar of life is probably worth it. Anyway, yeah, like, when I get about excited about stuff, I put radio silence blinders on because I just don't want to... I don't want to hear the things because I want to see it for myself and discover it for myself and like blunder my way through it. Um, that's just like, it's where I get my joy from for a lot of things. So and like, That's part of why, A, I really like, you know, the games that I do, like Kingsfield and Metroid and Dark Souls and all of these are, like, they're big old games of, like, exploring a world and discovering all these things and, like, solving um, weird problems. Um, and this is why, you know, backtracking usually doesn't bother me. Um, Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think that's the end of the sentence.
It does not help that I don't know why, but I'm yawning an awful lot and just like trying to not get that on mic and not like stop halfway through a sentence just to yawn. Oi. Don't know what it is about today. Just. Well, actually, I do know what it is. Like, I never get enough sleep. <laughs> That's the short answer. This is. I really should get more sleep. I don't. And it's. It's not good that I don't sleep. As it turns out, sleep is important for your health. Please, you know, get an appropriate amount of sleep. Um, <clears throat> do as I say, not as I do, yada yada. There's another ledge up here. That's that's my problem. So what I'm thinking about right now uh, is whether or not there's anything else in this in these tunnels along the way. I like head back towards the Talon uh, surface elevator. Um, I don't think there's any more items aside from this one along that path. You think we're just dealing with like a couple lava rooms? I don't have spider ball. Well, <laughs> we're done here. Um, We could go into the back door of Fendrana. We shouldn't, though. I said Fendrana. I meant Phase on Mines. Um, going into the back of Phase on Mines would be a bad idea because we need. I think just. All in all, just to get out, we would need Spider Ball, and that's a very dangerous proposition. There might be a way that doesn't involve Spider Ball, uh, but it is most certainly not worth the risk. So yeah, uh, we'll go back to the original plan, which I never finished talking about and describing. Um, <laughs> we are... The plan was do the lab and back of Fendrana, and then head back this direction towards uh, the crashed frigate. Um, and along the way, we can go to the very top of this room now that we have Plasma Beam. Um, and open the door up there, which I believe is the overgrown, um, oh, what's the word? Overgrown something. Chamber? I don't know. Anyway, I think it's one of the artifact rooms. Um, It is not. What is this one? This is Arbor Chamber. Okay. You can see why I would have thought it was not. <laughs> why I would have thought this might be the uh, Overgrown Chamber or whatever similar set of words um, is used for whatever that one room is that has an artifact.
So, something, um, something randomizer does. I was about to say, oh, hey, there's this neat option, and then I remembered what that option actually does. Um, there's this option that seems like it would be really neat, um, where I need to dig into it more and see if there's, like, further options around this, but, um, you can set the number of chosen artifacts that you need, uh, in order to open the, uh, open the phase on pit thing, final destination, whatever. Um, and, like, it defaults to 12, because, you know, that's the main game. Um, yep. come on, leave me alone. Game is why. So, um, oh boy, uh, let's just turn that on. Oh, this is not helping a whole lot. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a little bit on the, the rough side to see. Um, bear with me. I also can't see anything. Yeesh. Anyway, so this option exists to, like, change the number of artifacts that you need to get into the, uh, to unlock the Chozo Cipher. Um, which seems real neat, uh, and, like, I would have thought that that just changes the number that you need. Um, what it seems to actually do, and I need to double check if there's actually, like, settings for this, or if, um, it is just, like, how the randomizer is made. Um, the... That doesn't just change the number... That you need, it also changes, like, the number of artifacts in the pool. So instead of, like, if you turn it down to six, instead of, like, oh, hey, there are 12 artifacts in the pool and you only need six of them, um, it also removes those artifacts from the pool so that it's... <sighs> so ultimately, like... <laughs> You still need to get, quote-unquote, all of the artifacts. It's just... There are... Less of them overall. Speaking of artifacts, let's go get another one. Oh no. Energy tank, concussive blast should destroy it. Good to know I can just shoot through that door if I get too close to it. Um, I was afraid there that it was going to need super missile. Um, oh geez, this is kind of rough climb without being able to see. You. There it is. Oh, 
come on. Now, in talking about this uh, this option that I think is kind of weird, um, in that it removes the number of artifacts in the game, I do wonder if um, that's just kind of tied to something or, like programmed in like the original game of like when they say, "Oh yeah, get artifacts." Um, Lady, like, wonder if that's just like a value that's stored somewhere of just like there are this many in the game, um, and you need to get all of them or something like that. So I do, I do kind of wonder if it's uh, one of those things. It's just like it's a really tricky problem to solve, or if it was just like a, a gameplay sort of uh, consideration um, that whoever designed the randomizer and how it works. Um, How much of it was a choice? <laughs> like, how much of it was a deliberate choice uh, that was, like, purposeful design? That's Spider Ball. Wait. Is that Spider Ball? Or is that power bomb? All right, excuse me while I stare at that for a second, just to. just pulling up my phone to do a very quick Google of, uh... Do, do, do. Metroid Prime. Power Bomb. Thank you. That is also not helpful. That's power bomb upgrade. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, great. Yes, that was in fact the um jeez. Oh, um so yes. 
that was in fact the like power bomb unlock upgrade which is like four power bombs um and boy howdy sure would be nice to have um we're at three which is fine like it's not the best um but it's also so much better than two <laughs> uh and ridiculously better than one um So yeah, three should do us fine. But yes, it would, oh wow. So, so hard to see. like to be able to see things again. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah. Apparently the core power bomb unlock, which uh, is thankfully, because we have the power bomb expansions, um, like that doesn't mean it's hard locked or anything like that behind something else. Um, yeah, jeez. That... Uh, we do need Spider-Ball to go up there. I had not thought about that. Anyway, the thing I keep meaning to say and then getting distracted halfway through a sentence is that, well, hey, that power bomb is locked behind Super Missile, which is why I was really confused for half a second when I thought it was Spider Ball, because that would have meant that Spider Ball was locked behind Super Missile, which is locked behind Spider Ball, and that is a logical problem. Um, But luckily, no, that's not the case. I just forgot what uh, what the model for the original power bomb looked like, and that makes a lot of sense because you so rarely actually see it. Okay. Oh, this is antechamber. Aha! Great. Perfect. Okay, so maybe we don't need super missiles. I'm unconvinced. Because, like, there's enough stuff in the, uh... I think the thing I'm really concerned about is Metroid Quarantine B. Because if that's the room I think it is, I think that is in fact a super missile, like one of those tubes, much like in the Fendrona labs that we just kind of left there because all it has is a missile, uh, and also we don't have super missiles, so we can't get in there anyway. Um, <laughs> well, all right then. Oh, you're overgrown cavern. Okay. 
Look at me learning my room names. Well, that's a nice surprise. <laughs> So at this point, we should only need the ones in Phase on Mines, right? Like that, that seems to be the only place where there are any, um, do, do, do words. Uh, there are any Chosen Artifacts left. Let's do a quick double check on that. All right, I had just scan a Metroid. Artifact acquired, uh, Metro Quarantine B, Phase on Mining Tunnel. There's only three left. And Elite Quarters. Yeah. Dang. Um, so. All right, well. This might just come down to whether Quarantine B is, um, the room I think it is. All right, Ghost. Let's fight. This game is hard on the hands without charge beam. <laughs> oh no, I'm supposed to have a spider ball for this, aren't I? Well. I guess we're done here. Uh, do I know I need spider ball if I want to go up there? Anyway. Alright, so uh, do, 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 and yeah, that last one is also spider ball. So I need spider ball if I want to come back here at all, basically. So we are done with Chosen Ruins for now. Hmm. You just realize that this door is locked with ice, um, and you're supposed to, vanilla wise, get ice beam like, you know, in that set of rooms. I'm having either just a sad routing thought or a flashback to <laughs> some poor time when I played this game. I don't know if it happened or if it's just like an idea of something that happened that either way, boy howdy, it feels bad. Um, if you went through all of that, like you, if you like in the vanilla game, you get all the way back to the artifact or the, you get through the Chozo temple stuff little all right well anyway you could go through all the chozo ruins get back there um, see the white door see that it's locked check out the other path which leads you 
to Crash Frigate. Drop down. <laughs> Not have Ice Beam. Can't go into Crash Frigate. And then you would have to make your way all the way back through Chozo Ruins to get to the back door. Um, <laughs> to go into the room with Ice Beam. Instead of, like, through the save room and through that tunnel. Um, you could just have a real bad time doing that. Oh, good. I just looked at our energy, and we are in a real good way for this place. The one thing that we don't have a whole lot of... I've never actually, like, looked up at the sky here. That is a real cool skybox. I can't spider ball up there, but I should be able to jump my way up there. There you are. I also can't spider ball up into whatever that item actually is. check that one item. Let's go ahead, come back up here, kill all the pirates. Um, break open the thing to see what's even in that, uh, that location. Get annoyed at pirates for, like, appearing real late and then just pushing me off ledges. I'm a little scared of phase on mines right now. Just not having spider ball does put us in a little bit of danger, um, quite frankly. There's probably some way to, like, cheese your way up this ledge. Probably. Alright. Let's go ahead and hit the save point, and then we'll call it a day. And next time, we'll be dealing with some, uh some mild danger in the 
phase on minds with the whole like whether or not <laughs> uh, we're going to need spider ball to get through here um, which if we do we're going to you know need to find spider ball so that's fun um, yeah we are we're in a real good way um, I think it really comes down to whether or not quarantine Metro quarantine B is the room that I think it is and what I uh, what is needed for getting the artifact out of that room um, because like ultimately I know which room is Metroid quarantine a uh, and I have like I have an idea of which one is Metroid quarantine B but that might not be right and if Metroid quarantine B is instead like the room with like the circle of mushrooms or something um, because I think it's it's the one that's like here's you know it's it's connected to the save point right before uh, Omega Pirate, um, which good news it looks like we might not need to fight Omega Pirate. Um, that might end up being the faster way out of Phase on Mines. Not sure. We'll see. Um, but yeah, if Metro Quarantine P is instead just like one of those rooms with like a bunch of mushrooms and like specifically the one that has like the little ring of mushrooms down on the floor in the corner um then we don't need super missiles um oh that begs the question of if we need spider ball that's the real question i think is whether or not we're going to need spider ball to get that far into phase on mines and get back out Mainly the getting out is the problem. Um, hmm. <laughs> Run through that in my head. I think we need spider ball. Ooh, excuse me. I keep mentioned earlier that it's like I keep yawning and I'm trying not to and trying not to do that on mic, but man. I don't know what it is. There's just, like, no oxygen in this room, I guess. Okay, brain. Uh, yeah, that's... That's kind of the situation, is we probably need spider ball. We're running out of places to check to find that. Um, we're done with Magmore, aside from a check that requires spider ball. Vindrana, we left... I think we may have left a missile or two somewhere, but ultimately, super missiles were locked behind spider ball, and we left Thardis because Thardis sucks to fight. That might have been the incorrect choice. Talon Overworld at this point is clear. We are done with Talon Overworld. Crash Frigate has uh, the power bombs locked behind Super Missile, which is locked behind Spider Ball. Um, and there's also no word on the charge beam anywhere. Um, Chozo Ruins has a bunch of stuff that we could still check, but we need either Spider Ball or Super Missile, I think, for all. Oh no. There's one check. Ooh. <laughs> uh, oh no. Hmm. There is one check that I forgot about. Uh, it's one of the... It's in the room where vanilla you would get boost ball. Um, there's... Or not boost ball. Uh, you would get morph ball. Um, there's the little uh, half pipe in that room. And we can go up to one of the sides. And there is an alcove there. Hmm, I don't we I don't think we checked that. We did not. So that room <laughs> right now, things I'm worried about. Thardis? That room. <laughs> um And Where's Spider Ball? That that's basically it. Is like there's those two rooms. And then there's uh, how far can we actually go into phase on mines without requiring spider ball. Um, so yeah, that's that's the situation. Woof. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Bryce. This has been VHS Play. Have yourself a lovely evening.